Okay, well, I'm going to do a run, and I'm going to do dishes and feed the cats and all that stuff. Just regular cheese? Get some pineapples. Get some pineapples off the... the... Yes! Pineapple's awesome on pizza. People just, they're in denial. How do you know? Well, 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 no. I have never made pizza with pineapple on it for Emma, so she'll decide. That's true. No, county is where elections are won and lost. Hold on. Let me correct myself. Wayne County is. Hey, Han, don't use such foul language. Elections are stolen or not. That's. That's Wayne County, and you know if if uh, Republican the Republican nominee ends up you know winning everything outside of Wayne County, Wayne County will find enough votes to, to win that election. This is how they operate there. It's been that way for you know 40, 50, 60 years. Yeah. So you always have to be aware of that. But um, you know it's all you can do is is hope you catch them sleeping. You know, maybe you'll catch them sleeping. Or no. All right, man. I appreciate the call. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. You have a great day. You too. You too. Hey, look, the, the thing, here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping Gretchen Whitmer, I'm hoping the campaign ads remind everybody that Gretchen Whitmer told all of the greenies and environmentalists and all of those, you know, left-wing granola types in the state of Michigan that they weren't allowed to plant vegetables during COVID. <laughs> I'm hoping that you yeah, she did. everybody about that. She didn't want you to have a garden during COVID. That's the thing. Got more coming up. News Talk 95.3, Michigan's News Channel. That's the thing. Got more coming up. E. Hendrickson. 95.3, NNC. Why 
live from your favorite listening devices, it's the 95.3 MNC Stream, powered by Final Phase Electric. Channel, your breaking news and weather station. The City of Elkhart and the Elkhart County Health Department are working together in providing the right tools and resources for the prevention of COVID. You are encouraged to get vaccinated for COVID-19. Consider vaccination as a means of protecting yourself and others. It's safe and effective at reducing disease, death, and hospitalization. Visit vaccine.coronavirus.in.gov to schedule your vaccination. Get your free COVID-19 PCR test today. COVID-19 is still present in our community. Get tested if you are experiencing symptoms or have had a close contact with someone who tested positive. Go to health.elkhartcounty.com to find the latest rapid okay. PCR testing sites or call 855 This is going to be a quickie. This is going to be a quick to schedule your vaccination today, improving the lives, health, and environment of our community. The City of Elkhart and the Elkhart County Health Department. Balance of nature is fruits and vegetables in a Customary start. That sounds gorgeous. We welcome both contractors yeah, and the owners. Very loud. Experience our commitment to customer service. For 22 years running, builders have used Anderson Windows more than any other brand. This is another week's supply to see Anderson Windows on display. Anderson Windows, more than just a window, they're peace of mind. Leatherman Supply and Ocean, a name you can trust because we help you see it through. There's nothing easy about your car breaking down, but a plus auto service on Great Road can really help. You can drop off the auto service as All right, so the quest is to get to 10 million buckaroos. Rory, uh, Rory Alexander has made a huge difference in a lot of people's lives. Uh, Wave broadcasting, he you know, decided to leave his corporate job and go full time um, doing this. And uh, too bad Kaboom operator can't stream every day. Um, but we will be running tomorrow with Boom because uh, it'll be on on Saturday, probably. Uh, fuck, maybe around one my time in Michigan. He's on in LA. So I don't know. Last Monday he slept through his alarm. He was exhausted. So. Uh, so we'll see what happens tomorrow, but later, um, I gotta work on my, my, my hippie bus. I gotta work on my hippie bus. Um, I 
kind of a plan for it. I don't know if I want to do that broadcasting though. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do it? Live? Oh boy, what's wifey you put on here about? Yeah. And, and this is 
Like, my boss is running around the building today. All right, now this seems silly, but, and I'm going to make fun of him a little bit here, but there's a point to it. He's running around the building today. Really mad he can't find peanut butter. Like, what the heck is going on? I don't have any peanut butter at the grocery store. It's peanut butter. No, just there. And there's only one jar of peanut butter, which he says is awful because he doesn't have a good taste buds. But he's, he's out there, and he is really angry that he doesn't have peanut butter. But again, to the point, his entire life, anytime he's ever wanted oh. peanut butter, Whatever brand, whatever flavor he wanted, all he had to do was go three minutes up the road and get it. And that can't happen now. And it has been that way for Americans almost their entire life, with the exception for those of you, you know, like the World War II and maybe before that, the Great Depression, things like that. But for pretty much everybody else, with a minor blip there in, in Carter, Carter's administration, anytime we want or needed something, we just go three minutes up the road and we get it. And for the first time, we're experiencing what everybody else in the world generally experiences, you know, semi-regularly. And so they're looking at us going, hey, change. You can't see you go back and you get peanut butter in a week. And we're like, no, this is America, damn it. We have peanut butter whenever we want. And it's starting to really irritate people that you can't get the basic things that you need. You know, when my kids are going to school and they like Lunchables, okay? I think Lunchables are hot trash. My kids love Lunchables. When you can't get Lunchables, the flavor that your kid will eat, I mean, you might you might as well burn the grocery store down as far as my kids are concerned because nothing else matters. And is it a silly little thing? Is it a privileged thing? You're darn right it is. We're Americans. We are better than everybody else. We are privileged and lucky. And that, that superiority, and I will just straight up say it, that superiority as a nation was gotten with blood, sweat, and tears as well as innovation and effort. And to watch it be squandered away by a geriatric guy who proves himself in front of foreign dignitaries is not acceptable in my book. No, I think it's acceptable. Thank you, Bernie Sturgis. My three boys were in, we did seven tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. Man, thank you, I, I do. And, and you know, no, that, that there's a price. Yeah, there's a price that they're making. And, you know, we're letting it go. The people who are most upset about this, Jerry, the people who are most upset about this are the people who paid that price, and I'm telling you, that's a powder cake. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to it. Oh! I appreciate it, man. You have a good weekend. Take care, man. Then you go down to third and then go up. Or we'll just go down to third and stay steer that through that turn. Alright, I'm screwing up. I'm screwing up with my face. Here's a mission at a pretty news and weather station. I'm trying to manage three of them. is accused of a felony count of battery by means of a deadly weapon and a misdemeanor count of invasion of privacy. This is in connection with a shooting on West 8th Street on June 28th. And a ship Shawana man was stopped from passing security at South Bend Airport because he had two loaded handguns. It happened Tuesday morning when South Bend TSA say they saw two handguns in a man's carry-on luggage. They say the man did have a concealed carry okay, permit. A vehicle ABC explosion in Fortis Road the in South Bend Police area. Took the, bag. the TSA reminds customers that bringing a gun through security is illegal. It will delay lines and will result in a fine. The two guns were the 8th and 9th to be seized this year. Joshua Williams, Here MNC go. News. You can find the latest on these stories and more at 953mnc.com. Uh, I my worker. I'm not used to not having like, the flag overhead, the sign right overhead. I don't care about the red marks on the, the ground necessarily, but I'd like to have the overhead banner to break. I need to break at the sand. I make all kinds of mistakes, but it's all right. CBP announced essentially after a nearly 10 month investigation, they found no evidence whatsoever that any Haitian migrants were whipped or struck by these horseback border patrol agents. However, they have identified four agents who are they are, who are they are now targeting for discipline. Specifically, they're accusing these agents of uh, unprofessional conduct and working in an unsafe manner. Fox is Bill Malugin. America is listening to Fox News. Now, 
Your legacy heating and air, cooling and clean air specialists. First warning forecast. Clouds breaking this evening. Any showers are wrapping up and temperatures cool and the humidity falls. We drop to 60 tonight and the weekend is just beautiful. Sunny, warm, but not humid. A high of 80 on Saturday and 82 on Sunday with overnight lows in the 50s Saturday night. In the ABC 57 First Warning Neighborhood Weather Center, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tom. It seems like each business day, owners are confronted with new challenges, whether it's staffing issues, reduced production capacity from aging equipment, supply chain disruptions, or new regulations. It seems like it never ends. How can you plan to succeed when you rely on that equipment, or when budgets are spread so thin you can't invest in its replacement? Even if you could, sometimes the replacement couldn't be delivered or installed for months. Would your business handle being shut down all that time? You need solutions. You need Final Phase Electric. Let us step in and help you breathe new life into the equipment you've invested in already. Our team will step in and assess the project and offer you real solutions. Solutions that support your critical systems no matter how complex or proprietary they are to your industry. One call does it all. Don't wait until an emergency. Call 574-522-4444 or visit FinalPhaseElectric.net today. Get back up and running with our 24-7 repair team. All right. Let's get back to it. Got kitties to feed. Should have been in first by now. At the hundred, the wide and turn in. So you're setting up to exit quicker or tighter. Now this is a little bit tricky. I don't know where brake marker is. It's one of my fields. It doesn't help when they're blocking the road. I love that color blue. I'm sure that's a factory color. How am I bumping it? Oh, wait. There's a nose. It's actually a hood. What? Uh, few things. First, uh, Michael turns 21 this year, and he wanted to say hi. Uh, hello. <laughs> Happy birthday. Well, soon, anyway. Yeah. Okay. September. September. Hey. What are you saying? He's uh, 9 11 ish. Okay. okay. Well, I'm down here racing. Live. Um, pardon me? Yeah, we're feeding we're the cats, and they're all going nuts on the beach. Uh, okay. Anyway. I'm on Casey. But you can't Last month. Memorial Day parade. We had eight or nine different instances of signs for Dr. Sherry O'Donnell. Yeah. Is she the same doctor that you interviewed once? She ago? is. Yeah, oh, she, really? she's running in St. Joseph, Michigan for Congress. Yeah. I can't see my yeah. ears. Yeah, so we interviewed her on, I pulled it up, uh, February 13th. We interviewed Dr. Sherry O'Donnell. She actually recently, I think she's recently got back, because I know she went. I don't know how long yeah, she was there, but she recently video. got back from Ukraine. Uh, or at least uh, she might years. be Poland treating refugees from Ukraine. But yeah, she took a mission over there to help them. And she's back now on the campaign trail. But yeah, that's that's her. She's very smart. Yes, uh, her, her, the people representing her are very enthusiastic about her. Very. Yeah, she's um, she's good people. She really is, and you know, I, I wish her the best in the campaign. It's a tough campaign. The weird redistricting thing is happening, and all of that stuff. So I think that's playing against her a little bit. Uh, but she's a frontline doctor. She's a doctor who successfully treated every COVID patient she had through the pandemic. She's one that has been desperately trying to get accurate medical information to people. And she's also got really, really good oh, policy positions. Um, if you go to her issues page, it's called What I Stand For on her page. But if you go there and you read through the, the positions Oh my she gosh, has, really? She mentioned a lot of this. In Come on, book. man. Um, she's very, very solid positions on a lot of stuff. I mean, just... <laughs> How many times am I going to do this? She's probably automatically your candidate. Once more, I know maybe? That there's an incumbent up there, and again, the redistricting thing is all weird. But uh, if you're looking as a for a conservative candidate in the St. Joseph congressional uh, district, this is District Five in Michigan. If you're looking for a conservative candidate there, Sherry O'Donnell is probably your, your number one choice. Isn't she going up against uh, Kate Upton's uncle? 
no, 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 no. She, no there was, I forget the guy's name. He was redistricted. So he's like in the district now, but he didn't used to be in the district. He's an incumbent. Oh my God. That's all, wow. it's all thing. But no, she's not running against Fred Upton. No. Okay. Uh, the other thing I'm going to bring up, the, the, the paper thing. Yeah. Uh, the gift, I mean, the, the gift. Yeah. People have had, people have had peanut butter stored for years. Yeah. And all of a sudden they just freak out and throw it all away. And now there's a peanut butter shortage. Weird. Yeah, it's kind of strange how this stuff happens. I know. I keep trying to get rid of the powder peanut butter. They almost do it. Almost like it was planned. What? And no. Yeah. That's tin foil stuff, man. You can't. Nah. Nothing's planned. <laughs> Nothing's planned. <laughs> um, and all natural CBD, uh, yeah. the thousand, it helps my achy thumbs. Because when I'm sin racing, I'm putting a lot of pressure on my thumbs, and that stuff really helps my 52 year old hands. Oh, well, that's good, man. I'm glad to hear that. I know you said that you bought they, some, so. They need to make a massage oil. Because uh, that lotion, okay. it absorbs it, it absorbs in its skin extremely quickly. Yes. It's not a very good, um, you know, moisturizing type of lotion, but the CBD is amazing. Okay. I will let them know that they need a massage oil, and then they'll probably ask me a series of questions after that, which I won't have any answers. <laughs> but I will, I will do my best to get them to make a massage oil for you. Yeah. Come on, I man. Like it. All right, buddy. All right, man. Uh, you be blessed. And take care and have a great weekend, brother. You too. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, Sherry O'Donnell, man. She's great. I've got to have her back on. But, uh, I, mean, I did try to get her back my on. Mind. He's the incumbent, too. I'm sorry. I just, I'm forgetting his name because he, he's coming from oh, another I'm district. Oh, I'm way early. Damn. Uh, he's not the incumbent in that two laps early. Shit. Because there was redistricting that happened. And so he's, I he's an incumbent. Nine laps in this but car. from a different district. But now he's Damn. in the fifth district. And I, I reached out to them, and I'm like, we, we don't know who you are. <laughs> we don't know anything about you. It would be nice if you could come on and just introduce yourself to this, Alto, this audience. Alto, thanks for joining, dude. In your Hi, ben. new section of your district. I have not heard anything back from them that I'm aware of, so I, I'll keep reaching out and see if we can get them on. But Jerry O'Donnell is great. Uh, the interview, if you want to go back Hi. to her interview on my podcast, February 13th of this year is when we had her on the show. We need about uh, 10 more minutes. We got more coming up. News Talk 95.3, Michiana's News Channel. Casey Hendrickson. 95. <laughs> Fuck. I'm trying to get used to not using trash control. I'd much rather be using the trash control. Scotty geared this car. Whoa! Wow! Not to worry about tire spin right now. Oh boy. Remember to eat your fruits and vegetables. We all remember these words from our childhood. But how does anyone have time to buy, store, prepare, and eat enough healthy fruits and vegetables in our busy lives? Balance of Nature keeps it simple. Our produce is powered after an advanced vacuum cold process, which stabilizes the maximum nutrient content. The produce is then mixed into a scientifically researched blend designed with your body in mind. Once these blends are encapsulated, they are packaged and sent right to your door, so you can get all the benefits of a good variety of fruits and vegetables every day. Experience the balance of nature difference for yourself. Wrong here. Driven first. Focusing more on the my That's not smart. Welcome in 10? Oh my god. 17? Can't push that hard. Usually pitting after lap eight, you can go ahead and drive hard for her. I'm making all kinds of dumb mistakes, man. Usually 
racing at the 50. Today, well, I went to bed at 9.30 this morning. <laughs> uh, it was a pretty good uh, night racing, and then I woke up at like 1.40 this afternoon. My, my days and nights are really upside down right now. Um, I had fun last night hanging out with uh, one of the guys in the group. Uh, we were doing a, a live chat party. And he was on his end uh, doing a couple of grinds for this and then uh, doing dailies also. But I'm just going to do this run and hopefully win it. Uh, if I don't win it, hopefully I got enough money to get to that 10 million. All you do is run the full spectrum CBD lotion where your paint is, and within a few minutes, that paint is going to start to subside. It will soothe and moisturize your skin, won't make you smell like a medicine ball, and won't leave you greasy and gross feet. It is a mainstay in the Hendrickson household, and it is routinely requested by relatives in other states as a gift. And right now, at allnaturalcbd.org, you can get free shipping on orders over 20 Yeah, Scotty was you running every CBD freaking lap in the 130s. CBD uh, I yep. used to have the damn brake marker, man. I gotta break at the 100 sign. And at the sand, I need to be over to the right, way over to the right, but not riding the curves. Those curves will throw you. It's the best of Casey Hendricks. So the uh, representative that Cheerio Love is going against is Representative Tim Walford. He's the incumbent Republican. Uh, he was previously with the 7th Congressional District of Michigan. He's now with the 5th Congressional District. So he's an incumbent, but he's never represented the wrong fucking son. Shit. See, that would be great if I was in the uh, Toyota, the hybrid. With the, the hybrid, with the uh, hypercar. The GR010. I lost you over some shit, that sucks. But his lifetime rating with the American Conservative Union is 90.17. So, you know, he's generally right about a 90 out of 100. So, I mean, he's got a decent tour, don't get me wrong. But some of the stuff that he's done to COVID is probably going to turn some people off. But we'll continue to try and get him on the show. But he's the one that uh, that she's now. Yeah, against. I'm trying to stay on the right side. Um, ideally, you need to straddle the rumble strip, um, but I don't have the confidence to do it. 
yet. I don't um, to Representative Wahlberg, um, <laughs> so I don't know a lot about the guy, to be perfectly honest with you, but I was impressed with what she had to say. So, look them up and uh, make your best judgment. Ballotpedia has a lot of uh, good information on, on that particular race as well. Bill O'Reilly is coming up next. No! We have this song, which is coming up, not kid friendly. We'll play that next in just a couple minutes. Have a good weekend. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We don't need to listen to Bill. We're not going to listen to Bill. This is straight now. Okay. No, shush, Bill. Shut up. Go away, Bill. Go away. Go away, Bill. Health experts rank the Go away. Okay, so here is the song that Casey was talking about. So there is uh, language here, very strong language. You've got little kiddos around that uh, are sensitive to it. I'm like, I'm a millennial. I'm not proud of it. I'm kind of embarrassed. I don't know what the fuck happened. But I wrote a song to, to, to the millennials, to the Generation Z, an uplifting life advice song. It's called Fuck Your Feelings. We went from several personal rest pressed in when I focus. Stopping by. Yeah, learn how to type, man. Yay. Okay. So, this artist on Spotify, uh, the playlist is made by Porter. And we have permission to stream this playlist from Kaboom Operator, uh, who uh, was uh, helped help produce this music. So. Yeah, you've heard this on uh, Kaboom Operator streams. So made by Porter on Spotify. I 
think if I post the link, it might break up. I don't know. Um, I will post the link before I jump off, or I'll uh, put it in the comment and pin it. But again, we do have permission to stream this playlist. And if you get dinged, uh, just send Kaboom Operator a message on Discord or go to his website, kaboomoperator.com. Let him deal with YouTube. Instead of uh, turning here in this long chicken, uh, we would just keep on going straight into that wall of death over there. Every new person that plays this track, uh, they're going to hit that damn wall <laughs> at least once. All I know is it's flashing. I run out. I can't run out. I got a short shot. Mug. At the sand. Got the seventeenth. Please don't run out of fuel. I can't see the damn line. I can't see how much uh, how much distance I've got left on it. I know it's a zero point something. I can't read it. I have my eye surgery uh, the twelfth, whatever day that is. Concentrate more on the fuel right now. gonna do it for now um, I need to wash some dishes real quick so I can dirty the dishes and feed the cats um, if the cats get fed then I gotta feed the humans Friday is pizza night it's been a tradition in our family 
Um, since I was a kid growing up, we had pizza. Well, we ate out every Friday night, and uh, there was a place in Blue Island called Giuseppe's. They had amazing freaking pizza. It was always perfect. Perfect Chicago thin crust pizza. Uh, and they had lasagna and all that crap too. Um, and then there was KFC. We had, it used to be a nine piece for three, not a nine piece, it was a, a three piece for three bucks or something like that. It might even been less. Uh, but when I was uh, 10, I played a baseball team. Our sponsor was Kentucky Fried Chicken. And uh, we took the championship that year. We took first. Um, I pitched. So it was all because of me, of course. Uh, that's a horrible run, man. I am not going to be sharing that. Uh, I'm, I'm not sharing that. Okay, so did I reach my goal? All right, we got... Oh, my gosh. Seriously? Fuck. I got to do another run? Come on, man. I got things to do. I got things I gotta do. Shit. You know, I have got to do what I need to do. Um, I should have just done this race last night and went to bed at 10 in the morning. But anyway, um, I will be back on in a little bit. Um, the pizza, we got home run in pizza, and that's gonna be grilled on the gasser. And I don't want to be rude and just let you guys look at, uh, you know, the screensavers and crap like that. So I'm going to cut the stream short and do the things I need to do and hang out with uh, the granddaughter and see if she can reach the pedals yet, which I doubt. <laughs> uh, but thanks for stopping by. Um, if you subscribed, thank you for subscribing, and if you gave some likes, thank you for giving likes, I appreciate it. And I'm much happier now with the chat being on screen so I can see it. Um, at least I can, when I'm on a straight or something, I can lean forward and, and try to read it. Um, it's the best I can do. You know, just having my phone sit next to me, it's not fair. It's, it's a lot more fun to interact with you guys. Alright Alto, um, thanks for coming by, I appreciate it a lot. Um, I will see you later. You have a great rest of your evening buddy. And whoever else is watching. We'll see you soon.